Monday, you'll no longer be able to cross the border in Lukeville, Arizona. That is the popular crossing to get down to Rocky Point. The CBP is temporarily pausing all operations at the port so they can focus on a surge in migrants. Vanessa Riza in studio tonight. This could be a serious detour. Absolutely. Hello to you, Nicole and Jared. You know, earlier this week, we showed you this photo, uh, or there was a photo, rather, of migrants. They were actually going through and climbing through a border, a gap in the border wall in Lukeville, giving thousands of migrants an illegal legal entry into the state. Thousands of migrants are coming across waiting to be taken into custody in order to process the influx of people who are seeking asylum, customs and border protection. They are moving their agents off the Lukeville port of entry. Earlier this week, we saw three hour delays at the Lukeville port. Usually that wait time stands at about 20 minutes to cross. Starting Monday, that port will close all operations to reallocate their customs officers. There's no word yet on when that port is going to reopen. Now, getting to Rocky Point, as you can imagine, it just got a lot harder. So this map gives you a little bit better of an idea. Lukeville, it would take you about three hours, 45 minutes. But because that is going to be closed, you've got two other options. You've got San Luis, that stands at six hours here, or Nogales, that's even longer, seven and a half hours just to get there. This doesn't include all of the time that you will wait trying to cross into the border. The Rocky Point Visitors Bureau telling us that, that they expect to take an economic hit, but hope that this situation is fixed soon. Arizona State Senator TJ Shops calling the, uh, on Governor Hobbs to deploy National Guard members to keep Lukeville port of entry open. Arizona Senators Kirsten Cinema and Mark Kelly, along with Governor Katie Hobbs, releasing a joint statement earlier calling this closure unacceptable. They asked the Biden administration to send resources to the border. Of course, we're going to keep a close eye on all of this and see how this continues to ebb and flow. Nicole, yeah, I saw that they uh, didn't really respond to uh, TJ. Right. Shope's uh, suggestion, mm -hmm. and I don't know if they're looking into the legality of sending the National Guard down there or what, but it's important to Arizona. It's important to the Rocky Point, Puerto Panasco area to get that open as soon as possible. So, right, and what's happening behind the closed doors that we don't know, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a major decision today, so we'll continue to follow that through the weekend uh, as we wait to see what happens come Monday. Vanessa, thanks.